YouTube. Here I am again with an interesting piece. Uh, this is supposed to be the SPB103J1, the Seiko Prospect Sumo Hulk, uh, third gen, which came with the upgrades of the Sapphire Crystal, a 6R35 mover with 70 hours power reserve. So why I'm saying it's supposed to be because uh, this is not the real deal. Um, yeah, I got scammed. <laughs> um, of course, uh, I would say, uh, yeah, my own mistake, right? Um, this is a watch I found on an online platform uh, which uh, sells legit uh, catalog products. Uh, it's not like a secondhand platform, but obviously the dealers are not verified uh, correctly. So what happened is I uh, I found this watch uh, with legitimate photos on the uh, on the website on the web shop. Um, so I yeah I always wanted to have uh, this watch for some time. Uh, this was pretty early in my uh, in my watch enthusiast career career for for uh, my interest for Seiko's especially uh, Japanese divers and so on and uh, I didn't know much about watches back then or. Uh, let's say the dangers of the of buying online um, um, yeah i just didn't expect that a seiko with a price point of around 500 bucks that, that would be worth uh, spending a lot of energy to uh, to copy um, but obviously <laughs> i was wrong um, so when i got this watch <laughs> you can believe me i was quite pleased uh, i did like it i thought well finally i have a sumo Finally, I've got the third gen, and, and you know, on the first glance, this watch really looks pretty good. It was better than all the other watches I had at that time. Um, and um, slowly, uh, you know, when you have something, you start also to uh, yeah, to watch videos or to to uh, look more closely at it. Um, and uh, then it dawned on me after some time that something was wrong with this watch. Um, and it's actually, um, it, it's really strange. I mean, there's probably, uh, there's a lot of uh, facts and so on about this kind of uh, forging business, but um, it looks almost real, almost legitimate, uh, except there are some things that are off. So, you know, why did they not just uh, go to the full extent of just copying? Um, so I, I assume that there could be some uh, old, I don't know, some old spare parts or, the market is using a combination of old and new parts to generate these kind of uh, watches um, which um, have uh, maybe even legitimate Seiko movements. This NH35 movement is quite popular. Uh, so it could be a legitimate uh, Seiko movement. Um, and then if we look at the, uh, um, the, the, the dial or the, uh, the hour mark, especially the 12 o'clock position what we can see is that the uh, this camel toe it is too short um, and especially the hour markers uh, they are off so I have a, a, a legitimate I have a legitimate <laughs> a Hulk here but this is the uh, the black is the Taiwan Hulk uh, limited edition um, but it, uh, it basically has should have the same characteristics as the SPB 103. So what we can see is that the um, the 12 o'clock triangle, the camel toe, is totally different. Um, it is longer, uh, maybe to get away from this kind of camel toe look. Um, the hour markers in general are smaller. Uh, also the triangles are all smaller. Um, and um, the uh, uh, the hour hand is a bit uh, shorter in the new version. Um, so we, there are certain, uh, obviously, um, points which simply uh, make it obvious that this is not the same thing. Now I have a, a second gen Sumo here also. So what you can see is that the actually the, uh, yeah, the 12 o'clock marker is taken out of the Gen 2, and so are the hour markers. Um, so obviously, uh, they have taken some some kind of uh, either old old parts, or they've mimicked this Gen 2. I mean, the hour marker is different. Uh, the hour hand, sorry, the hour hand is different. Uh, 
it's uh, yes, I did not copy it there um, but it is rather weird so the uh, the, um, the crown is unsigned in this case so it's just as the third gen would be let me just check yep yeah so it's similar to the third gen but uh, this is like polished and the third gen at least this one has uh, uh, not, a, not a polished surface on the on the screw down crown um, so after a few days of having this uh, this is already two years ago I guess when I started uh, looking into these watches um, I somehow realized something is wrong and uh, then it dawned on me that uh, obviously I, uh, I I overpaid for this watch, um, and um, of course once you know it's not real, it just loses uh, its appeal totally. So I just keep it in a drawer, um, even though I've got a number of uh, let's say legitimate uh, real sumos now. Um, I keep this as a uh, as a monument to remind me. Um, yeah, just to be careful when, you, when I'm out there. Uh, what you can also see is uh, what is quite obvious, the um, uh, the bezel ring, the stainless steel ring outside, is, it's got like an edge to it, so it's not uh, at the same height as the, the bezel insert, it's, it's like uh, didn't fit properly or something. Yeah? So other than that, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, it's amazing in a certain way that all this stuff is somehow it, it just looks uh, uh, legitimate if you look at it on the first glance. Uh, all it just possibly uh, the, the quality, of course, will not come near the, the original quality, but um, in the end, yeah, it, uh, it's amazing how to what extent people go to reproduce something. Uh, yeah, where they obviously they, they can make money on it, but now why not just uh, yeah produce a, a proper brand a different brand um, and, and uh, go into it that way so of course this was not the only one I got robbed on <laughs> so um, actually around about the same time I got this one I got another one so I got this one which uh, uh, if you look at it now, I mean, it's obvious this thing is is obviously fake. Once you uh, once you get it and you have a little bit of knowledge about this, uh, this was supposed to be. I mean, I put, I took it off the stainless steel bracelet. Um, it's um, it came on a really shabby stainless steel bracelet, but you know this is obviously in the uh, in the um, faking business. There are different uh, quality levels. Um, because um, this one is really not <clears throat> not anywhere near the quality that I just showed you. So this is supposed to actually be this, right? So I ordered uh, this one online also, and it was supposed to be the blue coral. Um, of course, uh, yeah, the, you know the price should have already uh, warned me or made it clear. But you know, <laughs> there's always a sucker born out there, or uh, every you know you always think you got the best deal. So. I ended up getting this this thing, uh, which does not even have a screw down crown. It has a just a, a, a pusher here with a, um, a very simple uh, crown there, to, um, which is windable, but uh, obviously uh, not a screw down crown. Um, so um, that was the experience with that. I mean, it still has some. Amazing, let's say amazing polishing. Uh, we call it Zaratsu, but you know it. It is uh, somehow it does remind you of the Sumo case, even though it does not have drill lugs, which should also have uh, called my to my been called to my attention immediately. But it also, I mean, I didn't know have any reference at that time, so I didn't really understand that uh, <clears throat> this thing is is fake until. Uh, until after a few days uh, after I got it, um, yeah, it's uh, it is uh, it is how it is, um, and uh, so to make the uh, to make the story to, uh, to make the story complete, this is uh, this I also got this around the same time. Um, it was supposed to be the samurai, the party samurai. Um, and um, 
this is what uh, yeah what I got I mean also very strange um, you know there are some components here this kind of a bezel and the hour that the minute uh, minute markings there there have been old I think that was uh, maybe also gen 1 of the of the samurai uh, you do find this kind of 55 uh, minute marking on uh, some old samurais but uh, obviously this um, is uh, not the not the real deal also the case shape is is not according to what the samurai is it's let's say it reflects has a resemblance but it's i wouldn't call it the uh, it's not a direct copy so it's uh, somehow they they uh, they somehow mimic the general design and the, you can hear the bezel action <laughs> it's it's not bad but it sounds totally different it's a totally different kind of bezel here um so also with time uh you know, the crystal is, is somehow uh bit milky I don't know it's not really as clear as you would want it you know, you know it has this weird look to it um, yeah same case here I mean they uh, the prices were not like uh, ridiculously cheap they were cheaper than they were, you know you had the feeling you got a good deal but not that cheap that you could really know that this is uh, not the real thing so yeah that's what happened to me and uh, i just hope that uh, maybe for those of you who are starting out in this you just be the main thing to know is that simply um, obviously no watch is uh, too cheap to fake there are fakes out there uh, probably also of the cheapest uh, electronic watches um that's that's a lesson learned and uh, yeah i guess uh, the best thing is to really um, get it in an authorized dealership uh, for me it was just uh, a matter of convenience and, and time i didn't have the time uh, at that point to to really go to a shop but uh, it's always best to really convince yourself that, uh, that it's real and uh, that for sure i mean at least in an authorized dealer okay you're safe there but any other kind of um, shopper online uh, platform you know there are still copies out there that are they, they try to get it 100 percent perfect so yeah we just need to keep our eyes open and be aware okay guys thanks for listening i'll catch you later bye